that this be Norwich's first proper attack. Dowell and Sonani linking up well. Dowell from the edge of the box strikes the shot wide. That was a little flash of what we saw the other night, actually. I thought, well, for both the goals that Norwich scored involved Dowell and, and Sonani in the build-up, and they've not played together very often, but we're just seeing signs of a little understanding between those two players in particular. Sonani is going to take it with the left foot from this left-hand side as Norwich looked to take the lead. Corner curled in towards the near post. Oh, McLean got his head to it. Free header, but he couldn't find the target. And I think the way he's the expression on his face, a little grimace, slightly rueful, suggests he probably feels he should have done better with that. He, he evaded everybody there, McLean, didn't he? Gary Rowett, the rural manager is prowling the touchline opposite us already as Kenny McLean plays a risky pass and Omar Bebadeli does well just to get there first then it's laid off by Sonani and Liam Gibbs is bursting through the middle here he shoots from the edge of the penalty a big deflection it loops up in the air and goes through for the goalkeeper there, there were other players available but I don't think you can blame Gibbs for having a pop from there it opened up for him absolutely not Sonani and Nunez again standing over it with an opportunity to test this uh, Millwall defence and see if they can break through. Carrow Road expected as Nunez whips the free kick into the penalty area. Sargent gets his head to it and it goes across the face of goal. And Omar Bamadeli was sliding in, but I don't think it was ever going to get there. Behind it goes for a goal kick, but you can hear the encouragement, the applause around Carrow Road because that's Norwich just having a couple of opportunities from set pieces. will pass it out and Norwich eventually put their foot through it through Omar Bamadeli but back it comes through Wallace for Millwall Bury now on the left hand side keeping it in play up against Max Aarons who makes the challenge but Bury's got past him crosses from the left and Honeyman gets a, a header to that one so threw himself at it headed the ball up in the air and behind for a goal kick well, that's the first bit of joy that Millwall have really got on that left hand side Chance hit here for Wallace on this left-hand side to cross into the penalty area. There's a header goalwards from a phobie and it's not far away. And Tim Krull, let's see, make sure the ball goes over the crossbar, is now looking at... Is that Aarons he's having a go at? Because Aarons is doing his best to keep his back to Tim Krull. I don't think Tim Krull was particularly impressed with how easily Millwall were able to yeah. get the ball in there. Winning not just the first ball, but the second one as well, as Malone does float it towards the penalty area. Millwall again get the first header, but it bounces through to Tim Krull. Comfortable for the Norwich City goalkeeper, who bowls the ball out. Oh, Sinani just about gets away with that one. It's not the pass he meant, but he's picked out Nunez just inside the Millwall half. Nunez then plays a great ball across to Onel Hernandez, who's got space, and he's cutting in from the left towards the corner of the penalty area. Onel Hernandez for Norwich City, unleashes a fierce shot, which is blocked, and Liam Gibbs picks it up for Norwich City, finds Sinani. Edge of the penalty area, plenty up in this attack. Sinani's gone for an ambitious curling effort, and it's over the top. Looking to try and force the issue here early in the second half, Norwich City. I wonder what Dean Smith's instructions have been at half time. Probably that he's got five substitutes, and he's not yeah. frightened to use them. Here comes Dow, halfway inside the Millwall half. Nice pass to Sargent, on to Sinani, back to Sargent. Could this be the chance? Oh, what a finish! Josh Sargent again for Norwich City! Scores in front of the Barkley! And it just clicked there between the Norwich attacking players. Sinani and Dowell instrumental. Perfect pass through to Sargent, who finishes with a flourish. And the Barkley ends can celebrate a goal. It's Norwich City 1, Millwall 0, nil, and Sargent has 2-2. Two and two. got everybody back they've got a large defensive wall Dow and Nunez Kulkowski in a crouching position in the middle of his goal let's see what happens from this Nunez up to the ball hits the free kick wide didn't uh, go for height just went for a sort of powerful one beat the wall so went round the wall didn't he but round the post as well Dowell looking for possession on halfway, dragged down. 
That's a free kick for Norwich City, which they've taken about 15 yards further back than where the incident took place. But they just want to get on with it, Norwich, and Sargent trying to lay the ball off to Nunez, but it's not a good pass. And Mill will get it back to the goalkeeper. 1-0 up, Norwich, is that Sargent goes to charge down, Bulkowski's kick, and the ball's going to bounce goal, was can Sargent turn it in? Not quite, just going wide of goal. And it must have come off Bilkowski because the former Ipswich man was nearly embarrassed there, and he's had to concede a corner. And it's 1-0 to Norwich, but we've got a long throw-in coming up here for Millwall. Launched in towards the near post, it bounces into the six-yard box, nobody deals with it until Omar Bamadeli puts a foot through it. That's a new weapon Millwall have got. I think it was Shackleton who took it. Now Sargent occupying two Millwall defenders, getting under a bouncing ball on the halfway line. And he's done so well, and he's made it fall for Dow. And Norwich have got a man over here. Dow plays it inside towards Sargent, can he get his second? Oh, he does! Josh Sargent with the finishing touch, and he deserves that goal for hard work alone. This time he stands and salutes the snake pit. He worked so hard against two Millwall defenders to keep that ball alive on halfway, and he got his rewards because Dow had the presence to keep the ball until the perfect moment and play the perfect pass into Sargent, who finishes with a flourish. He's now got three goals in the space of three days, and it is Norwich City 2, Millwall 0. That is such a good goal from Josh Sargent for all sorts of reasons. inside his own half, drills the ball to Campbell, who controls nicely on the halfway line, he's got Sargent and Sinani in front of him, Campbell's going through the middle, there's no challenge, he's gone a long way with the ball here, Campbell, he gets tackled on the edge of the area, it's fallen for Sargent, Sargent, slipping his hat-trick maybe, no, charged down, that would have been something, so <laughs> right-hand side, <laughs> brings it into the penalty area for Norwich City, lays it off to Campbell, here's Sargent, maybe, he just won't sit up for him, eight yards out, my goodness, if Josh Sargent gets a hat-trick, the roof is going to come off this place, he's got two already, now Afobi at the other end trying to occupy Hanley, it's a good physical battle between the two of them, who's won it? afobi has got the ball but he's been forced out wide left to Vogue Slammer for Millwall who does hit the ball goalwards and he lives up to his name there, he hits the bar via a, a tip onto it from Tim Krul, that was a powerful effort from Vogue Slammer and Krul did well to tip it onto the bar and over.